well hey today I am doing something I'm very excited for well I guess I've already done something that I was really excited to do I created a look inspired by none other than Jane Lane from the show Daria. Daria was an animated show that aired on MTV in like the 90s. Um, it is amazing. Daria is the main character. She's in high school. She's like kind of like an outcast, very sarcastic. Jane Lane is her best friend and she's like the artsy kind of girl, um, like artsy and edgy, you know. Uh, it's just a really good show, a really fast one to breeze through because it wasn't on very long. I think there may be like two to four seasons somewhere in there I can't remember exactly um, but it's super super good and you all know that I love animation so this is a show I definitely recommend and if you're interested in how I got this like Jane Lane inspired look then go ahead and just keep on watching <laughs> Obviously, I have the rest of my makeup done and ready to go. I decided to go with like a little bit of a red blush um, and like a like a, a pearly white type of highlighter um, just to go with like the color scheme. And then of course I had to go with the bold red lip because Jane Lane always wears her bold red lip. Um, so for the actual eye look, Right now, I'm kind of envisioning like doing like a really cool like avant-garde type of makeup look. Jane is an artist, you know, so I want to capture that and like her edgy personality in the look. Um, so I think it would be cool to like do something in the shape of her hair. And I'll go ahead and pop up a picture of her so that way you can kind of see like where I'm taking inspiration from. But she has that really cool like sharp bob cut, you know? And so I think it'd be cool to do like kind of like a look that follows that same shape. So I'm thinking about filling in my lid with red and then using black liner to kind of do that shape with some silver underneath because she has like a lot of silver accents in her look. It might be a lot with the lip, but that's kind of like what makes these videos really fun to me is there looks that I wouldn't necessarily do on my own. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. I pulled um, a little palette and I just have two shades in it, a silver and a red. And I have a packing brush and I'm just gonna start packing a red shade kind of into that shape of Jane's like hair style. So I'm not sure if you all are going to be able to tell. Um, this is that red from Beauty Bay and it is looking insanely patchy. Um, so I might go grab a different red and try to layer it on top to see if we can fix that a little bit because right now it looks like kind of ridiculous. So let me go grab a different red and see if that can help at all.
Okay, at this point, I have layered all three of the red eyeshadows I own. I started with the Beauty Bay one, which is the one I had in the palette. Then I grabbed this one from BH. And then I grabbed this one from Profusion, which are all of my reds. And I feel like none of them look especially great, even all layered up. It just is like a little patchy on my lid. I kind of felt like the more I pressed, the more it picked up and like wasn't sticking. Um, now, normally I go in like with like a sh my Tarte Shape Tape as a base and maybe that helps it stick normally. Today I didn't um, because I'm kind of in a rush. So, um, we're just gonna leave it as is. I mean, I think that this is like one of those ones that's like, the farther away you are, the better off you are, <laughs> you know? But I think that the shape itself looks good. So now I'm gonna go grab a black eyeliner and then we're gonna line the like, the edges and I'm thinking about going in like my inner corner a little bit too. All right, there is that line done on this side. And like, why do I feel like it looks kind of cool? Like, I feel like so avant-garde right now. I know I probably look a little bit crazy, but like, you know, that's the fun thing about makeup. So now we just have one last thing to do. And I'm thinking I wanna put the silver underneath my lower lash line. So let me go grab a pencil brush and let's see if we can make that work. All right, so I went ahead and just grabbed this really small brush and I'm gonna dig into my favorite silver, which is the silver from the Bretman Rock ColourPop collab a long time ago. And I'm just gonna start putting this under the lower lash line. Okay, y'all, we just need to take a second to appreciate how insanely silver this eyeshadow is. I think it is so pretty. So um, I'm going to do the other eye off camera and then I'll be back. I went ahead and finished the second eye off camera and I also applied some mascara. I feel like you can really see that my eyes are hooded like this because when I like put my eyes like flat, you know, like I'm not like like lifting my eyebrows, you can see that the shape of Jane's like hair um, kind of like sinks a little bit on the outer edges of my eyes, which to me shows I have hooded eyes. I'm not sure if you can really tell, um, but the shapes aren't exactly even on either side, but you know, it is what it is. That's just kind of like how it goes. I don't know how people get their stuff like insanely even I it is a, a masterful craft I just don't understand um so I also went ahead and added added a little bit to my inner corners like a little bit more of a sharp line um and that's what we're working with I think it looks really good but there is one more thing I want to do I want to add a little bit of a uh, highlight to my brow bones and my inner corners so I've got this like gray shade from the ABH Moonspell highlighting palette, I think it was. Um, and I'm just gonna add that to my brow bone. I'm gonna be very careful because I don't wanna get it in the eyeliner. I just wanna add a little bit of something, something, you know? And we'll do that on both sides. 
make it a little bit more. Okay, okay, and then we'll add a tiny bit to that inner corner. I don't want to mess up the, ooh, oops, I just got a little bit of red in that gray, but I don't want to mess up the eyeliner too much, so I'm just going to add a tiny, tiny bit, and I think that's the finished look. Okay, what do you think? Does this give Jane Lane vibes? And I'll pop up the picture again. Um, I know that this was like kind of a shorter one. It's a really like simple, but like very graphic look, which I think really encapsul encapsulates Jane's character. If you've seen the show, Daria is a really short show. And if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend. Um, I actually have my Six Sad World t-shirt on right now, which is like the TV show they watch in the TV show. Um, I, it's really good. I watched it on Paramount Plus. Um, it was on MTV in the 90s. So, um, I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can stream it as of right now. But, like, don't quote me on that. There's, you know, a million streaming services in the world. But it's a show that I really like. And I definitely have other characters from the show that I would like to do looks for. Um, but Jane just has such a unique character design. I knew I wanted to do her first. So I hope that you enjoyed the look and I hope that you've been enjoying this series. Let me know, are there any other cartoon characters or like just like movie and film characters or like television that you wanna see me create looks for? Um, if so, put them down in the comments. Uh, I feel like this one was like a little short, a little weird um, as a video, but I hope that you enjoyed it. And until I see you next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye.